So here we have got another one, which is offboarding activity. It is exclusively for offboarding. Okay. So they are not utilizing this. They are directly requesting to manage everything in the activity area. Okay. Softboard activity checklist is like, you know, we need to maintain this again. However, you know, over here, it's, it's one of the same. However, we are maintaining everything in the same place, activity items. Okay. Threshold alerts. See, these are the alerts that uh, passes on to the actor. Alerts are like, okay, a profile workers assignment is ending on so-and-so day. For example, it is ending on July end, July 31st or July 30th. So when it is ending on July 30th, the actor action, take the action. What is that action? If he needs the contractor beyond July 30th, he needs to extend it. He needs to extend that in the system. And uh, it passes through the approval flow that's been designed within the system. Okay. So if he, okay, if he's fine with uh, the end date, he can leave it alone. And that's the alert that's been set up. So the alert, how does it uh, work? We have got everything that's been, every action that needs to be taken by the actors has been listed out over here. We need to mark the number of days. So invited supplier did not respond before invitation expired. The shoulder is seven days, seven days before it has to. Invited worker didn't respond before invitation expires. In the sense to register to the field glance, an invitation will be sent. Okay. An invitation will be sent. And that invitation has, has the expiration date. It's going to expire. So for worker, I think, you know, it is uh, like 48 hours, I think so. For supplier, they might have more days than the workers. So this is the notification that will be sent to the action. And the, and the person who has initiated it. So in this case, if it is a worker, it will be sent to the supervisor, but a supplier, it would be sent to the primary contact of the supplier from the suppliers and as well as the person who is responsible for maintaining the vendor. Okay. Similarly, contingent worker, end date approaching. End date approaching, it's 30 days. First one is 30 days. Next one is 14 days. Next is seven and then three and then zero. By zero, it's gonna blow, it's gonna get closed. When once it gets closed, uh, their uh, network access that is associated with the assignment will be closed as well. They'll be unable to log in to the system. Contractor will be unable to log into the system. Okay, so this is like the number of notifications that's been sent for these modules. So it's, it has been set uniformly across the modules. So work, workers actual spend is nearing the committed spend. So when it comes to the CW or S for W, Okay, when it comes to CW, let's uh, let's talk about CW in first place. When we talk about CW, each worker 
will be having a budget that needs to be managed. Each the manager will manage the budget that's been assigned to each contractor. Okay, so if it is if it is uh, nearing spend, say they've utilized uh, seventy five percent, remaining is twenty five. They're gonna get the alert. When they get the alert, and the manager feels that the contract they still need the contractor, then they need to revise or get the PO authorization from the higher ups, and then they can go ahead and revise the work order. Okay. Statement of work spent nearing the maximum budget. So statement of work, see when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to the CW contingent worker, it is the individual work orders. When it comes to the SOW, it's a bunch of work orders under that particular SOW. So here the total budget will be nearing whatever the total budget that's been set for that particular project will be nearing. So when it is uh, nearing, uh, there are the, the remaining 25% at that point of time, uh, the, the manager or the cost center owner, he has to take the decision how to, how to get the expansion or increase the budget. Does he need to increase the budget or is it, is the things happening within this 25%? Okay, so these are all something which uh, we need to just understand to set it up. Okay, not that you know we need to completely understand uh, how uh, the the buying company has to work on. It is it is in simple terms, or we need to make them understand. Okay, these are all the options that we have got. How can we set it up? Okay, discuss on this and set it up accordingly. Most of them are self-explanatory, but yes, the new guys uh, just try to understand. I would say try to understand as much as possible. You know, don't uh, don't don't uh, get into the pressure. It is it is the time uh, that will give us the knowledge over the period of time. Yeah, so we can go ahead and edit this as well. SOW event duration. It's not been set. We can set it to 10 days. Yes, and then I update it. It gets updated. So these are the threshold alerts. So alerts are like uh, the notifications, escalations. Escalations are to the next level. Okay. Even after the notifications or alerts, you have not taken the action. That's when the escalations will be coming into the picture. So none of them has been set up. So for uh, escalations, uh, they might use different set of uh, requirements. So where they are more using for the invoices, fees, they're using it for the miscellaneous invoices, credit debit memo. So more into the escalations are more into the payment part. Okay, so the payment part is like, you know, the invoices are consolidated and then the consolidated invoices will be pushed to the ERP systems. Okay, so the invoice reconciliation even happens there. And then the accounts payable, 
is gonna remit the payments. And once the payment is done, the status will be updated to the other systems. That is fail class, if it is integrated with Ariba, is even Ariba. So the escalations are uh, high priority. Yeah, notifications are a simple low priority, I would say. This is the high priority stuff. So this can be set up as per the company's requirement. So to what, what they need with respect to the consolidated invoice. So Mark has paid for consolidated invoice. It's like, you know, if at all, if it is uh, not being integrated uh, to Ariba or so on, we need to mark it manually. Consolidated invoices like the invoices for the complete month. Okay. So across the cost centers. So they're going to consolidate completely. So approval of consolidated invoice. So approval needs to be done in time. If not, the payments will be delayed. So it should be a high priority stuff. Credit debit memo is like any sort of variations as such in the invoices that needs to be set off in the next uh, next month's invoice or payments that is called as credit debit memo. Approval of events, events we saw about the events in the S4W, fees, invoice. This is individual invoice. With respect to the job posting approval, rejected job posting that needs to be reworked, distribution of job postings, and so on. Pretty simple for people who have understood uh, the modules or the functionalities. It is pretty simple to understand. If not, yes, uh, they would. They would have to take time, spending time with the modules. But yes, I'm explaining this uh, is because you know it's it's part of the workflow and explaining this. I don't know whether you guys will be using it. Probably this is you'll be exclusively into administration. You know, it's not like you'll be working on every nook and corner of field glass. You know, it's it's just one part that will be assigned to you guys, and you'll be working there. Don't worry about things, yeah? So <clears throat> this is something which I've explained to you now. Okay. So this is the shoulder for PMO dashboard. PMO is the MSP team, the program management office. So they will be managing the, in, in many of the cases, you know, it is a CW that will be managed by MSPs, okay? Uh, they, they act as a pipeline between the supplier and the buyer. And they will assist uh, in most of the cases, they'll be assisting the buyers as well as the suppliers requirements. And they'll be managing the list of suppliers for a particular site or a particular location. I would not say location, location is, location is say, I would say one of the buildings or so on within the site, a particular site or a a complete country or complete region, I would say. Okay, times and the expense sheets are uh, very important for them. So here they are managing the SWW as well. So the SWW is setting for the PMO dashboard. Invoices, consolidated invoices, job posting, SWW complete. Complete CW and SWW modules have come into the picture here. You can go ahead and edit. You can select whatever is required. And check whatever you don't want. Whatever company doesn't want. Okay. So this is uh, the threshold visualizer. I should visualize this. Like you've got the numerous options here. 
you can go ahead and set it up critical set it up as warning by checking it committed spend of the supplier committed spend of the supplier is over something when it is at critical when it is 75% sorry 75% when is the warning 95% period is it year to date or monthly so let's have year to date for this particular year to date this is what the committed spend considered as critical at 75 percent warning at 95 percent head count crowd over some percentage under some percentage critical and warning so companies will be having their own uh, uh, vision mission and so on with respect to the management part and they are going to decide on this what all we need to do is we are going to just explain the functionality and ask them whether it is required or not no doubt as a consultant when it comes to the implementation we are going to give what best we can give out of field class okay and it's I've just explained to you guys on this. So these are the evaluations that will be set here. So for satisfied audio with the performance, this is for the supervisor or the manager. So this is uh, something which will be set up here. We can name it and give the starting point where it should be from. Okay. So these are some of the some of the sub items under workflow. 